David Hyams believes that digital technology can enhance the print experience. In 2011, he set up Talking Print, which combines video and audio with any printed material. Here he talks to Think Bigger about the possibilities it offers creatives. For those creatives that aren't aware of Talking Print, can you tell us a little bit about how the process works? Talking Print is about adding sound, light, video to print. We work by adding a module such as this to print. A module is made up of a, a speaker, a chip, powered by batteries and triggered by different ways. This is light sensitive. You can have a trigger by push button, by pulley as in greeting cards, or by magnet. You can have lights, you can have video as in something like this. Something like this. The screens come in different sizes so you can build to lots of different specs. It's been around three years since you launched Talking Print. Has the creative industry used the technology in the way you thought? Yes, we're, we're really getting people very excited. It, it, we're, we're doing some fantastic campaigns. Um, my main thing is, because I was a designer, um, is actually to work with the creative industry and show them what they can do with print, to take print into, into a new world. Um, the days of long run print are, are not what they were. So to use print as a very tactile medium and add sound and light is very exciting. The way that I work is that um, I say to creative, this is what I've got, go out and create something. And the, the work that we're producing is, is fantastic. There's some um, real groundbreaking stuff that, that we're doing. You used to be a graphic designer yourself. Do you think the creative industry is pushing the boundaries as far as it could? Um, they are starting to when, when they get to know about what we're doing, but I really want them to do more. Um, my whole thing being a designer is that uh, I'm giving people tools to actually work with. So now that the creatives know that you can add an audio or a video or a light um, to actually include that in their creatives. And very much what I do is that I, I have a way of producing short run prototypes so that as part of the creative process, you put together a prototype which is then pitched to the clients before going to full manufacturing. Is there a job featuring external graphics that you can tell us about? It hasn't really taken off with um, external or wide format as yet, which is why I'm really uh, pleased to be having this conversation. Part of the, the reason for that is uh, with batteries, uh, with outside, you, you have to have good batteries. So I, I, I will explain how this uh, can be overcome. Uh, we work with a, a company called Citybox, and they put, uh, put a module like this, which has got um, larger batteries into it. They uh, were working for the film Madagascar. They used this in bins, which had uh, print in front of it. And then when people passed it, this is actually motion sensors, and an audio goes off. So on that principle, you can, put a, you can put a module in front of your print and it will talk. The, the feedback was great. The audio really took people by surprise and it, it really um, enhanced the print. Have you been disappointed by the lack of innovation in the wide format sector when it comes to using technology like this? Um, yes, uh, I, that's why I'm really pleased to be talking about it now because um, the issue with wide format and, and point of sale is having a battery and how you power it and how long it will last. That's why a, a, a module such as this is really good because it, it's, uh, you can put a large battery in it or you can actually power by mains. But part of what we do is we look at the brief and then make recommendations to the best way that it can be manufactured. Who's to blame for perhaps the lack of innovation? Is it the creators themselves or do you think the printers should be more proactive in promoting new ideas, new techniques to the creative community? Very much so. I, um, the, the creatives just haven't thought of it as yet um, and that's why it's really good to talk about it. Um, when they come to do creatives it's very much just print um, and turning it into a, a three-dimensional piece of print. Putting lights and video hasn't really been part of their remit but now that uh, creatives know that they can do this kind of thing well, I, I'm here to help um, help with the innovation. 
Could you give us some examples of how this technology could be used in the wide format sector in areas such as retail or brand communications? The modules can be used very easily with any point of sale. It's a module that can be stuck to the print. All you have to think about is how it's actually triggered and how it's actually powered. Um, so with a point of sale, uh, you can have motion sensor when somebody passes it, it goes off, or you push a button to activate, or you, have, you open a box and the light comes on. It's really up to the creatives or, um, or the client's imagination. When do creators have to start to think about using this? I guess, when, when would it enter the creative process, if you like? Right at the beginning, yes. when, when they get the brief and they think, ah, oh, why don't I add an extra dimension by adding, adding an audio to, to what I'm presenting or, or adding lights to what I'm presenting or put a video in to bring it, bring it alive? Then put that into your creative and then talk to me about how we actually go about manufacture. In a typical job that features talking print, could you tell me a little bit about how the relationships work and how the collaboration works? Well, when the creative has the idea, uh, it's very important to bring the printer in right at the beginning and we like to have a collaborative uh, experience. So the creative comes up with the idea, they talk to me and the printer about how we actually build the thing and, and because I come from a design and print background I know how to integrate into the print what works and what doesn't, what you have to consider in terms of manufacture, the time it takes and most importantly how much it's going to cost. Usually um, there are deadlines attached to what's needed and, and that has to be built into uh, the manufacturing process. Is there a perception that this technology could be expensive to use? Yes, uh, I guess that that is a factor. It's an electronic item, so it does have a cost to it. But to be honest, it's not fortunes. Um, it does depend on the spec, but you, know, you, can, you can have a module for a couple of pounds. Um, we, we will price up each job according to what's wanted and it does depend on how elaborate the job is. But you can just have a very simple module for, for two, two, three pounds. Obviously we've had several years of austerity. Do you feel as we're moving into a better economic climate there'll be more experimentation going on with technologies like this? Yeah, very much so. I, I can see that uh, um, the clients and, and the creator's mindset is changing and they are now prepared to, to to experiment a bit more and put a, spend a bit more because you're creating something that is grabbing attention and, and you don't need to play so safe. Um, that's why uh, we, we're producing such good, good work um, because the creatives and the clients are prepared to take risks. There are some other companies integrating sound and video with print. How long before you think this gets into the mainstream? What I really like is that the more projects that are out there, the more people that are seeing the stuff that we're doing, um, the, the, the better it is. And, and that's, for me, I get a lot of my work from recommendation because people have seen a, a, one of our pieces and said, oh, we would like to do that. So there's no better form of uh, recommendation than actually seeing a piece of work. Do you feel this technology will help breathe new life into print? Uh, very much so. I, I'm, I'm old school. I, I, I like print and I'm just, uh, I'm just really excited that people are saying, oh, we love print. It's, it's going back to, to having something physical, that there's a place in the world for digital, uh, but you still can't beat having something physical to, to take away. And I, and I find that even the that the younger generation are excited by having, having print. You know, people talk about print as uh, having its day, but uh, I'm very much a believer that it, it's, uh, it's got a good future, and especially using it in, in a more creative way, like uh, the, the pro products that we're, we're producing. What part should printers be playing in promoting technologies like this to their clients and the creative community? What I would say to printers is that we're giving you a new tool to, to go out to the creative community with. Um, it's easy to sell print because everybody's seen it, but the, we're giving printers something a bit more than that. It's an extra dimension. Um, so I, I'm very keen to talk to printers and partner them. I, I'm very much white label. I don't, uh, I don't sell my brand. It's all about your brand. And you... Uh, 
can easily talk to me and say, I've got this idea. Can you help me get into the creative community? And I'm always happy to produce samples, either stuff that uh, we've produced before, or if you've got an idea, I will put together in-house samples um, and, and partner the printer to get through to the creative community and, and ultimately through to the clients. Do you think printers understand the benefits of technology like this? When printers see what we do, they get very excited. Um, I've, I've had printers saying, you're, you're the best thing that I've seen in years. It, it, and, um, because they can see that this is just another conversation to give to, give to their clients, to get them excited, to, to take them away from what they've done before. Looking from the outside, do you think the creative and print communities work as closely together as they could? I think it's changing. Um, I, I know that printers do, with, with more complicated jobs, they are very keen to, to, to get involved right at the beginning and, and good printers will actually sit down with, with the creatives and work it through. Because if you don't talk to a creative at the beginning of a job, it will invariably go wrong at the end because the, the whole process hasn't been thought through properly. So good printers will be there right at the beginning and usually the creatives know the kind of printers that will produce good work.